Well, this is a bit of a surprise video. I was not going to do this video. It's another Marks and Spencers one. I was gonna leave it a little while before I did another Marks and Spencers video, but I did notice they've got a sale on. I thought, well, I can't leave it. I need to tell you now um, what I think are good opportunities to buy, because some of these prices are just so reasonable. And also at the end, there's a couple of things I have bought. I think I missed the sale. And I'm not sure if the items I bought are in the sale even, but anyway, at the end, there'll be a couple of items that I have bought and I will be doing a try on to show you. So what have I seen in the current Marks and Spencers sale that you may be interested in? Let me tell you. First of all, an oversized striped shirt, very similar, very similar to the one that I bought from H&M. And I got to tell you, I have worn this shirt so much. It goes with jeans, it goes with trousers, it goes with skirts, and it goes with thin trousers, it goes with shorts, it goes with cargo pants, well, I mean, you just name it. I'm loving it because it's thin and lightweight, so it's keeping me cool. It's stylish because it's oversized. It's got a collar, which I think is flattering for our age, my age, and because of the pattern on it, it's got a pattern, it's a stripe. A vertical stripe is slimming and that pattern adds interest and it's a pattern that we can wear. And it's also, I think a stripe like this. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good pattern. So now this shirt does come in three colors, but the color that, there's a, you know, the staple blue stripe, which is very standard. And I think that's a really fantastic shirt in blue. But the one that I'm pointing out to you in particular is the, ready pink one because that is so similar to my H&M one which is a, a pink. I equally would have bought the blue but when I went shopping in H&M I only saw the pink so I bought the pink but if you're trying to replicate looks that, that I have been showing you and have found the red the why you would I don't know but still you know I'm an ordinary woman an ordinary woman showing you my clothes but still if you have seen me wearing my pinky red striped shirt and thought, I like that, where do I get it? It's not available in H&M anymore. Try Marks and Spencers and I'll link it down below. So that was number one. That's my first pick. Right, number two. Again, harping back a little bit to my haul at H&M, I bought a neutral coloured creamy ivory blazer with ruched sleeves. You know, the sleeves were already ruched up. I have worn this blazer a lot and shown you in a variety of, I think it was uh, last lookbook or the lookbook before that, maybe. Um, but this is a great blazer. And I mean, weather now is too hot for this particular blazer, but it, come the autumn, I will be wearing this a lot again. But it's very similar here at Marks and Spencers at a sale price. So I have thought it's worth pointing this one out to you as well because with H&M they're just disappearing so quickly I don't think you can get it anymore but Marks and Spencers try there if you're looking for one. A blouse that I think is so pretty this is such a pretty blouse and it's kind of it's got a design but it's not floral it's, it's a palm print or leaf design and I love the colours in this it's sort of slightly beigey colour with a rusty red on it and the green it's an attractive shape. This is going to be great front tucked. It's going to be great under blazers and under jackets and under motos and under leather jackets. It's just pretty. It is a pretty blouse. So I wanted to show you this blouse. Thinking about the autumn, a couple of jumpers I think are great shapes. These tight, kind of shortish, they're not cropped, but they're not long. Just shortish, well, maybe just ordinary length. Maybe that's what you say. If it's not short, it's not long, it's not cropped. Um, ordinary length, let's say ordinary length jumpers. And this comes in a khaki and an ivory. And I love both of them. They're both really attractive jumpers. And they're, they're sort of, you can wear under, you can wear, wear under jackets, but you're gonna wear, be able to wear shirts underneath them and have the tail of the shirt hanging down below or a tail of your t-shirt hanging down below and uh, shirts with collars showing over the top. And so it's like top and tail, the outfit, but you can also then wear them with, with, um, without a shirt underneath and just wear them as with the jacket over the top. So I love the two colors. I love both the khaki and the ivory. So uh, there you go, two jumpers. Biker jacket. Now there's a biker jacket that's in a blush and it also comes in a sort of a medium blue as well. But, but to my mind on the picture, it looks slightly gray. 
So when you get it, it may be more blue than gray, but I've got a gray moto and I absolutely love my faux suede gray moto. And I thought it was definitely worth showing you these two in the blush and in the slightly bluey gray color. So as you could see, if, the, if you wanted to get a moto and these are the colors that would appeal to you, you may want to snap them up now while they are in the sale at the time of recording. I've chosen also this striped shirt, ivory and blue, bluey gray stripes, and it also comes in ivory and beige stripes. The reason I have chosen this is because it's so similar to the shirt I'm wearing here. This shirt is several years old and it's from Sainsbury's, but I wear it so much. I wear this shirt so much because the colors are quite neutral. They go with so many colors that you're wearing on your base item or as a jacket over the top, they go with so many colors. Now the shirt at Marks and Spencer's, as I said, is very similar to this. If you, I think this is a great staple in my wardrobe. You might want it as a staple in your wardrobe. The version at Marks and Spencer's is V-necked. Mine's got a collar. This one's V-necked and it's also got the more modern um, wooden effect buttons. So it's a modern design. It's got more, a modern finish to it and yet it's quite a neutral style shirt and color in both colors, both the gray and the white and the um, cream and the uh, beigey color and the white. So you needed to know about that, I thought. You needed to know about it. Now, I did pick a dress. I picked this dress because, which actually, if you look at this picture, I think it looks very, you wouldn't, you wouldn't give it another look, to be honest. I think looking at this picture, I wouldn't give this another look brush past. But the way they've styled it with the belt here, and I really don't understand. Marks and Spencers, I do not understand. If you're styling the dresses with leather belts, why don't you just sell them with the leather belts? If you think that the belt that comes with the dress or the belt without a dress without a belt looks better with a leather belt, sell it with a leather belt. Right. right. <laughs> but they're doing this so often. They're actually styling the stuff, showing it warm with things warm with leather belts, but actually not selling the leather belt with it. But right, back to the point. I think styled with the leather belt, I think it's great. And you can imagine this with boots. Imagine it with boots. Imagine with a jacket over the top in the winter, a suede jacket or a leather jacket or even a uh, raincoat or a camel coat and boots and the leather belt and a brown bag. You've got a great autumn outfit. But this dress on its own, just like this, very ordinary. But I think when you style it properly and use a leather belt, I think that was going to be you know, a super look. So I have added this into my picks while it's in the sale and available. A little blouse I think is really attractive and we're singing, ging singing gingham, what we call gingham in the UK. We're seeing this everywhere. This little summer, summer top, short sleeves in a gingham black and white print. Perfect, very stylish and very much current. But at the same time, it's, gingham's not gonna date. The style's not gonna date. It's got a flattering neckline. The sleeves are in about the right place for my age. And uh, great basic for your wardrobe that will last you many years, hopefully. The camo jacket that I did a video on, up here, and I showed how ways of styling a camo jacket because I have got a camo jacket. Mine's not Marks and Spencer's. I've, and I'm not buying another one. I don't need another one. I have got my camo jacket, but I did a video on how to style a camo jacket. And the w one that I actually showed at the time was this Marks and Spencer's one. And a few of you bought it, but you know, it's in the sale now. So snap it back up again. Now, those of you who didn't get it then, have a look now. It's in the sale. I love my camo jacket. And if you want to see how to wear one, have a look at the video. There's also, also if you, looked at my lookbooks in the spring, you saw I wore a trench coat a lot too. It became part of my capsule wardrobe and I used it so much. Mine is Marks and Spencer's and it's petite and I bought it years ago. Uh, it was such a purchase at the time, such a gem of a purchase because I don't think they've done a petite, well I haven't seen a petite trench coat they've done recently, but they have got a regular size trench coat. So if you're a regular size, not a petite, you're looking for a trench coat. I if, if the quality is the same as mine, mine has just lasted and lasted and lasted. It's just, I love it. I love it. It's, it's I don't need another one. That, that's it. My trench coat it, in, in cream, that's it. 
So if you are looking for one, and I think it's such a style, so if you, haven't, if you have not got one in your wardrobe, they are such a stylish coat to have for any age, for any age. And they're not going to, it's not the sort of coat that's going to make us look old. It's, it adds real depth of style to an outfit when you, you've got the outfit underneath and you've got the coat open. So definitely, and if you want to see how to wear a trench coat, I've got a video here on how I use mine in the spring, but Marks and Spencer's trench coats, and they've got them in a, a few colors. So if you're a regular size, then, and if you're a petite, you might want to take the risk, you know, and try it and take it back. But uh, if regular size, um, it might be worth having a look while they're in the sale, in, especially in, as there's a variety of colours as well. You can't go wrong with an ivory one, but they've got sort of, sort of grey, blue too, and blue, I think. So um, yeah, have a look at their trench coats. I said I'd show you a couple of things that I have bought. This is one of them, a jacket. I did, I, I did a video recently, last week, on petites. And there's a denim jacket for petites, but it was only in a very light wash. And I thought that light wash is too light for me and my slightly warmer skin tone. So I, I did feel I did want another denim jacket, slightly more modern cut. And so I bought this one, which I don't think is, I mean, the sleeves are a bit long, so I've got them cuffed up. But I think that's okay. I'm just gonna show you. Right, here is the jacket. Thank you. My other one is here, so it's quite nice to have a longer one. And given that my last denim jacket is still going strong and it's lasted me 20 years, I don't feel guilty about spending 35 pounds on another denim jacket. So my second one. And so yeah, I just popped it on with what I was wearing, which is the gray shirt and a premium linen skirt. But you can see, you can get the idea, can't you? And it looks good with this anyway. I think it looks good with this. The other item is this cardigan. I did put this into a video a few videos ago on Marks and Spencer's and I didn't buy it at the time. I just showed you. Um, it comes in a light blue and it comes in this green as well. I was so tempted this time. I just, thought, I just, just before it goes out of stock, I just wanted to get it because it's gonna be a great cardigan for the autumn. I love the color of it. I love the shape. I love the modern, modern cut of it. It's thick and um, a nice cable knit here. And it will go beautifully with the moss green skirt I've got that I bought from them. So uh, yeah, I was tempted this time and I bought the cardigan. So that's what it looks like on anyway. If you were tempted last time, that's what it looks like on. There you go, the cardigan. Right. As I said, this I just wanted to get this bit out quickly whilst the, um, the, the sale is on. And rather than hang on and, and do this video in a few weeks time, I thought, get it out now while there's a sale around. So I'm ending this now so you can actually just go shopping. And I'll see you in an outfit.